Many of you have built this project and I got an amazing response from all of you and I hope this project help you a lot to understand the entire basic structure of Etherscan that how you can fetch the data from the blockchain and display in your front end in your smart contract and build logic build product on top of that. I'll show you that how you can deploy because many of you have requested me to make a video where I can show you that how you can deploy on internet so you can add it in your portfolio. And so if you haven't built this project let me give you a quick overview that what you will learn so you can see this is how the interface would look like we have this icon this is the wallet and here we are fetching the latest price of the ether so you can see the price in the form of dollar and it's updating so whenever the price is updating we are getting the updated time this is the total supply of ether that's what you can find these are the button click on that and you can simply log into the application and you can fetch the information about your wallet so if i con that this is the address this is the balance and this is the number of transactions i have done with this particular wallet so not too much and here you will find all the latest transaction which is happening on ethereum so this is the latest block which is getting created so you can just fetch as many as you want but here i'm fetching close to 30 not more than that and this is the latest transaction which is taking place you can see we have tons of transaction is happening on the ethereum blockchain so that looks pretty good now if you click on this block it will take you to the block page and here you can able to find the entire data about this particular block so the block number tram stamp minor transaction has all of this data you will find and this data is pretty helpful for you if you are building a app so this is the block information you can click on the address and you will come back to the account page and here you can explore the entire transaction of an individual account so if you click on this click me it will fetch the entire information about an account so you can see this is the address and right now if this particular account has its ens name then the name will display otherwise it will display hello so right now this the account doesn't have its name so that's why we are displaying hello but if an account has name then it will display the name you can see this is the address hello and here we are fetching here is the entire gold of our project so this is the entire overview the balance of the particular address look how much money this particular account has it has 171 ether that's a lot of money and this is the entire value in the terms of dollar short message and here is the entire transaction history about this particular account so you can see all the transaction this account is doing that's all you can able to find the block number the transaction from to the gas used all of the things you can able to find you can click on this internal transaction these are the internal transaction we have all the information this is the transaction hash this is the mine this account also used in mining the block so you can see all of the block this particular account has mined no erc20 token no erc21 and the image is quite funny one you can replace that very easily with any error images so let's come back to the transaction and here you will find if you click on the block it will automatically reflect to the block page and you can able to have the block data so let's find it out if i click on this you can see the data will change and this will take a little bit time because the data will fetch in the background so that process is taking a little bit time but if you click on the block you can see you will come back to the block page and here you will have the entire information so if you click on this address it will take you here click on that and you have the entire data about this particular transaction looks good number of transaction this particular address has done that's all you can able to fetch if you click on that it will automatically change the address looks pretty good okay so you can see how powerful it is to understand that how these data can be really very helpful for you if you're building a dab or any kind of feature you are providing in the applications so everything is working absolutely fine and the one thing i want to show you that you can also click on this click on this and you can easily able to redirect to the account page and you can explore that as well so that looks pretty good you can come here and you can simply explore it's fetching the data so we are redirecting from the many places and sometimes this will take a little bit time because it's coming from the blockchain so it's taking a time so simply copy this particular address and you can do in one way so just imagine that you have an address and you you want to search that particular address and its transaction history you can do that all you have to do is to paste the address here and click on this click on this and now you can easily able to fetch the information about that particular transaction you can click on that and you can simply redirect if you want to check the transaction you can see it's 100% responsive for mobile device as well so this is how it's going to look on the mobile device and you can scroll down and you can click and you can redirect to that so if i come here and you can see if i click on this it will take me to the transaction page and here i can able to find all the transaction data
that what are the data is available in this transaction the new ones and you can click on this and you can fetch and that's how it's going to look on the mobile device so as you can see the data is fetching in the background and here we have the data looks pretty good the tabs are working fine we have all of the data so this one is an amazing project if you really want to understand the ethergs packages and how to deal with the blockchain data which you can utilize in your dapp so this one is a project which i would suggest you to build looks pretty fine all of things are working fine to r s all the values which is available to us and we can simply include that one i hope you guys can heard the noise just forget about it so this is the entire piece of code i have here you can simply check this is the code and looks pretty good no issue we have and we have the context here we have built all the logic and api calls we have done looks good i hope you guys have watched the complete project many of you have and those of you have not watched i would suggest you to watch that that will give you a better understanding and looks pretty good we have built the provider and we are making the call to our api looks pretty good come back here and we have all of these things pretty awesome this is the footer internal nav bar tab and all of things this is the ether package close that one bring it up and these are the images we are using so play close this one and now we can simply come uh, let me show you that how you can get the source code in case if you want if you want to take it you can take it and when you will take the source code you will give a valuable contribution to our team so we can expand and we can bring more courses like this so you can scroll down here i'll provide the link of this particular page in the description so you can click and you can come here in the source code section and here you will find that one or you can simply search here ether and this is the project we have click on that and from here you can get the source code and once you download that you will get this zip get this folder and you will get the zip file and once you extract that this is the code you will get which is an updated one and uh, looks pretty good now let me close this one let me open this the one i have downloaded just now click on that and come here so this is the one which you will get looks pretty good no issues we have all the images everything is looking absolutely fine so you don't need to do anything make sure to install the exact packages right now whatever you have here so make sure to install the exact packages type npm i and this will install the packages and simply clear the terminal and now you start the application npm run dev and you can simply come back to the browser and you can see everything is working fine let me click on that and here we are so you can see the data is fetching and this data is also okay things are looking pretty you can you can click and you can come here and you can click on that and you can easily able to fetch the information about the transaction so it's taking a bit time here we have the data hope things are getting clear to all of you guys that what do you have to do once you get the source code all you have to do is to install the packages and simply check the application now we can simply start deploying this particular application to the internet so for that what you have to do is you have to run this particular command npm run build so before you done do that you have to come here in the package json file so let me show you you can see this is the build command and that i have written this and and next and and next export so make sure to give this particular command and then you have to run this build command so once you do that this is what you will get so this is what you will get it's loading and here you can see here we got the static file so everything is successfully exported and here you will get a out folder in that you will have the entire html and the images which you are utilizing and this is what we need for the deployment so it looks pretty good to me now simply close this one close this one and now we can start deploying this particular application so here i am on the blockchain coder and here i have listed all the tools all the platform which i use for hosting the application so you can see i use hostinger hosting domain and digital ocean so in this video i would prefer you to pick this hostinger because they are giving amazing discounts and recently we have been in touch with them so they are giving 75% discounts if you want to pick and generally we use digital ocean for the bot for the automated tools running something on the server but when it's come to uploading a static sites hostinger is one of the best hostinger is one of the best and they have amazing offer and they have amazing customer support so i'll go with this hostinger so make sure to come i'll provide the link in the description so you guys can click and you can simply come and you can click on the hostinger uh, so this is the one we're going to use it they having amazing discounts right now this is the digital oceans and if you want to come to the pages click on this 
so if you come to this blockchain coder you can access this page by here click on resource section and if you create your account you can simply find here so click on this get offer and you will come back to the hosting so right now you will get 75 percent discount so hosting is such a powerful platform which allow you to host your application and static site so right now you can see that i'm in i'm from india so this is the indian price i'm getting and right now they're having amazing discount so simply click on this and here you will find all the countries so no matter for which country you are you can pick your country and you can have the entire setup so if you are from usa you can this is the exact amount you have to pay which is very less so i'll come back to the india <coughs> i'll come back here in india and i'm getting amazing discount so click on this and they have 30 days money guarantee click on claim and here they have three plans so this one is the single web hosting this one is premium this is the business so if you come back to the signal hosting in the single web hosting you will get one website 5 gb storage 100 gb broadband you will not get any domain you will get unlimited ssl and security and all of these things but the one i use personally and the one i'm going to use in this project is this most popular one the premium web hosting because i can store 100 websites i have this much storage unlimited broadband i will get a free domain which i can use for testing so this is the one which i'm going to pick and the best part is that you can able to select their data location so if you're from usa you can select the data location of usa if you're from india turkey you can select the exact data location i'm going to select the india one you can come here and you can simply compare the pricing plan for the single premium business and this one is the most affordable one and the best thing i like about this hostinger is that their customer support is really very good so whenever my website or any website of my clients get down i can connect with them i can easily able to find them and they can help me amazingly very fast so what i will do i'll simply come up here and this is the plan which i'm going to buy so let me click on this add to cart and you will come here you will come here you can see what you will get so they have multiple plans one month 12 month 14 month 24 and 288 months so this is the plan which i'm going to take right now i'm getting amazing discounts on that and this is the exact amount i have to pay so right now the actual price is 21,000 this but i'm getting on this particular amount for four years for four years so this one is absolutely amazing discount so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pause the video for a while time and let me buy this hosting so let me buy that one so here i have finally made the purchase and you can see that when you will complete your purchase this is the exact dashboard you will have single web hosting and the domain so this is the domain i have registered so this is the domain i have registered so when you will come to your dashboard this is the exact dashboard you will get once you will complete your payment and you will find that which hosting you have taken so i have taken the single web hosting the premium one and i got a free domain as well so you can see that i have this free domain but in your case you won't have when you will make the purchase and what I did when I was making the purchase at that time, I stopped the recording, but I forgot to resume the recording and I created this, this domain. Okay. But when you will get into your dashboard after making the payment, you will have an option to register a domain. So you can put your domain name, domain name, and you can register that. Okay. So this is the domain name I have given. So make sure to provide all the details, which they are asking you, your address, phone number, and your valid email, and you have to configure your email. So once you do that they will verify your email so this is the exact things you will get so click on this manage and you can see i have already done that configuration because somehow the video was paused and that's why i was not able to record that you can see this is the exact configuration i have done i have verified my email everything is done fine looks pretty good to me and you can find all the details about your domain so i'll come here and i'm going to click on this web hosting so this is the exact things you will get now you have to click on this create or migrate website and here you have to do the setup so click on get start now here it will ask you that you, what you want to do you want to create your own website you want to create the website or you want to migrate any website we want to create our website click on create, and we don't need to use any builder because we have our code and we're going to simply escape this process and here you have to select the domain so this is the domain which i have registered so i will simply select this one if you haven't sell it by if you haven't if you haven't if you don't have any domain you can simply buy that or you can get the free one so click on the select and here you can do the configuration for your domain because when you will set the domain name it's going in that you have to provide the registration details email id address and password as well all, all of those things you have to provide 
so what i will do i'll simply click on this i don't need to do any changes you can select your country of your choice and i will simply click on finish setup and it's going to create the c panel for me my file manager so just wait it's creating easy ssr certificate automatically will install and installing the ss certificate and here i got the control panel so i will simply click on this manage side and i will land up here and here i can manage all the folders and files for this particular application so you can see that i have selected this particular domain which is there and when you will connect your domain for the very first time it will take half an hour time so when i was recording the video and when i register my domain it took half an hour time to make connect it took half an hour time for connecting so once you create your domain just wait for half an hour to one hour after that you will have something like this otherwise it will say that the domain is not connected or you can define the location of the domain some information will show something like that okay so the here you will find the information about the application so you can click on this and you can see that we haven't deployed our application here so you will find all of the thing you can configure your hosting so you can click here we haven't configured our code so that's why you can see empty everything is empty these are the names this is the pt and these are the use case so don't need to worry about that bring it back and from here you can do the changes in the domain again don't need to do that come back and here we have the free email so you can easily able to set the email or you can create the emails the business email now to deploy our code we have to click on this file manager click on this and it will bring us to our file manager and here we have to simply upload all the files so you will get the exact interface like this click on this public html here you will have this default php which you don't need to worry about it simply delete that one and here we're going to deploy the entire code we have created in the out folder now we have to simply drag and drop all the files here so i will simply come back here and these are the entire code we need so let me go back to the download open this one and this is the out folder we need simply open that one and select all of the files and simply drag and drop here and paste here and here you will have the entire code and looks pretty nominal okay so come back here click on this and it will open the application you can see it fetching the data and this one is taking a little bit time make sure to simply come here and log out from the metamask reload the browser and the transaction is coming this one is taking a little bit time but click on this and come back check this one this one is looking pretty fine now you can come back to the ether scan and you can see the data is came so this takes a little bit time and looks so far everything is good we have all of the data and looks good so hope you guys have understood that how you can deploy and again i will tell you that if you haven't built this project make sure to build this will teach you everything about the basic the fundamentals that how you can interact with the blockchains what are the things you have to know because ether is one of the powerful library which you have to know as a blockchain developer because you're going to interact with the smart contract you're going to interact with the different blockchain network so in that way it will help you a lot so again i would suggest you to build this project if you haven't built that and this is how you can deploy those of you are requesting this is how you can deploy to the hosting so with that, I'm ending this video. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.